Hey squad, welcome back. I'm Deuce and today I'm going to be introducing the brand new version of Logic Pro, Logic Pro 11. Now Logic Pro 10 has been with us for over 11 years and this new version introduces some fantastic new features, one of which I'm really excited about and that's the brand new Logic Pro drummer. And that's what we're going to be covering today as well as in some follow-up videos. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so from the jump, let me explain to you that to take full advantage of this brand new version of Logic Pro, you are required to have an M-series Mac computer. However, if you're on an Intel machine, your operating system must be at least Mac OS 13 Ventura or above. With non-M-series Macs, you will still be able to take advantage of most of the new features, including this brand new drummer, which we're gonna dive into. Okay, so now we wanna introduce a brand new drummer instance into our Logic project, and you'll see right here, this interface has changed. A number of things are quite different and especially when it comes to the new session players. We've got three different types of session players, the drummer, the bass player and the keyboard player. I'll cover these ones in other videos. But for now we're going for Logic Drummer. The other thing you'll notice down here is we've got a whole range of drumming styles from acoustic drummer, electronic drummer, right down to the different percussionists. In previous versions we used to choose different players but Apple has now dispensed with the different players and now we're going straight for the drumming styles so I'm going to choose a modern R&B style and create the next thing you'll notice is the interface down here quite different to what we had before and to be honest with you a lot better whereas before you had to move that node around on the graph now you can actually work on the individual complexity and intensity sliders at a glance on this side, we've got the fill amount and fill complexity dials. And these are fantastic in terms of modifying the fill. This whole section has a brand new look. If we click right here, now these are all different stylistic options related to the hi-hat, which is selected at the moment. However, if we were to click on toms and we come here, we've got these style options for toms. And of course, if we had cymbals selected, we've got different rhythmic styles for cymbals. Now we come down here to kick and snare, we click right here. We currently got eight variations of how the kick and snare will play within this groove. At the bottom here, we've got follow rhythm of. We've got chords and we've got track. Now this right here is the follow track, which we've covered before in previous versions, but it's even more powerful. And I'm gonna be using this shortly. Right here is where we'd select the track that we wanna follow. Maybe it's a bass line, maybe it's another drum pattern, but we'll cover that shortly. Chords, however, is something brand new. Logic now has a chord track and we can get drummer to follow the pattern of the chord track. Again, we'll cover that in another video. So let me pull up a simple arrangement I've already made and we can explore some of these changes. Okay, so before we actually dive into what's happening with drama, let me tell you what's going on with the other instruments. Firstly, my bass line is coming from my current favorite virtual bass plugin, which is the Waves Bass Fingers. And now Logic has got a brand new session basis, which we're gonna delve into, and I'll be able to do a comparison later on. However, Bass Fingers is my go-to virtual basis. <laughs> As always, all of the plugins I'm demonstrating right here will be available to download and try out free of charge. Links will be in the description. And I'll also have this particular project uploaded and available for download via my Patreon. And the link will be in the description for that. Now for my keys, I'm using Retrospective EP from Arcade. <laughs> And for my sax, I'm using the Chopped Sweet and Funky Horns. And 
and our vocals are also coming from Output Arcade, and this one's the Distant Voices Suite, and I'm using Light of Heart. So as I said before, I loaded up a modern R&B drum kit. If we click just here, we can change the genre by scrolling through like so. And under R&B, we've got modern R&B, neo soul, and modern Motown. Up here, we can change the different session player. And of course the interface down here will change based on what we've selected over here. Come over to the drum kit and we click just here. What's cool about this version is if you select our kick drum, we've got a whole lot more individual kicks that we can swap out. Before, I think there was about three or four you could choose from, unless you had inserted the producer kit. And now it's all available to you, not only for the kick, but same for the snares and the toms, cymbals, and hats. The controls over here are pretty much the same where you can tune, dampen and adjust the gain for each individual drum. And of course, if we hit the drop, we can still adjust the gain for the percussion elements. Now coming back over here, if we click details, we've now got even more control over elements. In previous versions, we had some control over our hi-hats, but now we have even more control. And now also over the snare, how the snare is hit. And we can adjust our percussion elements here too. We've also got this additional dynamics dial right here. And on this page, we have the tempo selection, which we did have before. If we go to manual, we can create a kick and snare pattern using a basic step mode grid. Now coming back here under the follow track, we're following the bass line. What I've done is bounce on my bass to audio. So let's switch to that one. And even though we have the follow track switched on and we're following the bass, we can also have additional variation in terms of our kick and snare. So the top line here represents the snare position and the bottom represent the kick accents. And you can see the positioning between each of these eight rhythmic selections. Again, try them out with your production to see what works best. Like I said before, we're not gonna to touch on the chords track yet. That's a whole other video. But overall, I found the revamped interface and additional features in Drummer to be really useful. The sound is great, and in particular, the follow feature is fantastic. So let's switch the follow feature off for this section, and then we'll switch it back on just to hear what we get. Okay, let's bring it back in. Do you hear how the kick drum is now following the accents of the bass? Okay, let's try a different pattern. Let's go for number six, for example. And once again, we're gonna turn off the follow feature and then switch it back in with number six. If you're interested in checking out some of the gear I use in my studio as well as on the road, head over to my website, musictechtraining.com forward slash studio hyphen gear. Links in the description as well as up top. Okay, and now back in. Again, there's just so much variation that you can have. As you build your production over time, maybe you start with pattern number one. When you get to the second eight bars, you can switch it to maybe pattern number two. So let's have a listen between these two. Okay, so much variation, so much control. As you'd probably notice between these two sections, my complexity and intensity are different between these two. I'm building intensity. You'll notice as well that I've switched from the side stick or rim shot on this one here, and we've gone for the full on snare just here. Have a listen. How cool is that? Now I've done quite a few videos giving you the fundamentals of how drama works. 
and those fundamentals still apply. The interface has changed and we've got even more control, but make sure you check out those previous videos because I do go in depth on how to use this fantastic tool. And of course, I'm going to be doing a lot more on Logic Pro Drummer, but also let's take into account we've got our bass player and our session keyboard player to explore. So there's lots to cover. But for now, let me play out one more time the brand new Logic Pro Drummer. Check out the links in the description and above to grab hold of this project and to download and try out all of the plugins I'm using. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out, peace.